Let's go. We are joined at the table by one of the most dynamic players in this draft. He was an All-SEC selection, a finalist for the Paul Hornian Award as the nation's most versatile player. He shattered the University of Kentucky's single-season receiving record, 104 catches, 1,300 yards, wow. and he told us in the commercial break his favorite player growing up was Percy Harvin. Mm. Please welcome wide receiver Wandale Robinson. What's up, my man? I'm good. I'm good. How are you all? How are We're you? great. Welcome to New York City. What do you Thank think? You. It's big. Yeah. It's a big place. <laughs> I love that. It's an apple. It's a big place. You've yeah. never been here before, you mentioned that, right? No, I've never been to New York City, so it's, it's, good. it's been good. We're thrilled to have you here. Well, you grew up in Kentucky, so your deal was you transferred from Nebraska mm -hmm. to Kentucky back home, and, dude, you just blew up. What yeah. was the key to that? You really settled in and started exploding as a player. Um, I would say due to just really Coach Cohen coming to Kentucky, um, and then I just felt like I was around my family a lot more, and I was able to just kind of get comfortable and just um, kind of feel like I was back in high school a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so Coach Cohen brought a really good offense and just allowed me to do a lot of the things that I wanted to do um, and just allowed me to succeed and uh, break a lot of records. So, yeah. <laughs> We're seeing some of your highlights right now, and you already mentioned one of your favorite players growing up was Percy Harvin. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of people trying to compare you to players now. Guy, names like Tyree Kill come up, Debo Samuel. Who would you say you most mimic in the NFL right now? Um, I would say those are two similar guys. Um, I mean, I don't want to compare myself to anybody. I like to be my own player. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, I like to take pieces of everybody's game, like those two guys. Um, mm -hmm. Cooper Cup, just watching him all last year, being kind of in the same offense, um, and just guys like that. So um, taking piece, pieces of everybody's game and just trying to be the best receiver I can be. So. Mm, good answer. We're seeing all Great of your answer. highlights right here. We were looking at your highlights, and it's hard to pick a favorite, right? Mm -hmm. You do it on the ground, through the air. You're super versatile. It's so important on the National mm -hmm. Football League level. Was there a moment or even just a play from last season that sort of stood out to you and was special? I would say the last drive during the bowl game against Iowa. Mm -hmm. Last catch I had, um, kind of went down to the one-yard line, set us up for the game, went and touched down. But um, just that whole drive and that whole, just that whole game was just kind of crazy, and it was really, really fun. Yeah, for the viewers at home, four catches, 86 yards Woo! in the final drive of the bowl game where they beat Iowa. Kentucky beats mm -hmm. Iowa in a bowl game, so and cool. Wandell was the entire offense there. Now, the Cohen you keep referencing, Coach Cohen, is Liam Cohen, who's now the offensive coordinator of the Rams, but he spent a year with you last year. And, I mean, both of you guys had so much success in that Stoops team. Uh, I would ask you, you know, as far as what you can do at the NFL level, because you played in an NFL offense, which what Coach Cohen was running, mm -hmm. can that translate to the NFL immediately where we could see you day one? Hey, put Wandell on the field. He's going to make an impact. I definitely I, th I feel like that's the case. Um, I mean, obviously you saw that I did it in college and I've ran the same concepts that I'll have to run in the NFL. So um, I feel like that I'll have a kind of a step ahead of everybody just learning an offense and things like that too. So um, just allowing me to succeed and um, do the things that I did in college as well. And I've spoken to his coach and he said the one thing that he loves about Wanda was that He's always encouraging, let's get other guys' touches. Let's try to give this guy a look. This guy works well in this matchup. Like, teammate. it wasn't all about him, so great teammate, too. Right. That goes back years for you, because as good as your college tape is, it's got nothing on your Pee Wee highlights. Let's go! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Over a decade ago, <laughs> these highlights <laughs> went viral. Like, yeah. the birth of YouTube, Wandale was a superstar. These highlights <laughs> went viral back then as a awesome. six-year-old. Yeah. Take us back to these days when you were the Barry Sanders of the Youth League. Shoot, I mean, I just remember it was Wando left, Wando right. Um, <laughs> and I would just get the ball and just outrun everybody and just do what I do. And then um, just kind of evolved and kept going the way that it was going, so <laughs> everything kind of stayed on track. So yeah, there's an urban legend. Maybe it's a rumor, maybe it's mm -hmm. true. Go on. That a referee once after a game <laughs> asked you for an autograph after one of your Pee Wee games. You were that talented. Yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, well, this, like, not, it wasn't in these highlights, but um, we actually went to Owensboro, Kentucky. Um, it was kind of like a little all star thing, and we played teams from all around the state, and we were in the championship game and won the game, and the all referee came up to me and asked me for my autograph. And at that point, I was just kind of like, I looked at my mom, and I didn't really know what to do. Um, but she, he has a picture of him, and she has a picture of it too, so it's pretty, it's pretty it exciting. So it's I was like eight years old. Yeah. Yeah. At that like age, would you sign up with a cram? <laughs> <laughs> it was with your fist? Like this in a no, backwards a sharpie. You had a sharpie. Yeah, they had a sharpie. They brought out a sharpie, and I just real? signed it. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. Like, Can you sign yeah, like a blue one too? Yeah, sure. I would like to see what it yeah. looked like right um, now. Though. Right? Like, what does that signature look like? A six-year-old signature. I wonder what that does look. Like. Now it would just be a selfie anyway. So. It would. No, 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 it's an NFT somewhere. Yeah, it's an NFT. It is. It's. I think it's because you're here at the table. You have this quiet confidence going on, and we can feel it here, and it's contagious. 
Um, there's teams all around right now who are finalizing their picks and who they want in the draft, and they're looking at you, and they're watching your tape, and it's amazing. You broke all these records, and you're watching at the table, and I know they're feeling something, that there's something special about Wandale. Mm -hmm. Take a minute right now. Look at that camera right over there, and tell those people why they should take you in the 2022 NFL draft. Um, I think you should take me because at the end of the day, I feel like I'm the most versatile and talented offensive player in this draft. Mm. Um, I'm not really going to talk about it or anything. I just want to come in and work. Um, I'm going to do everything that the team asked me to do. I'm going to be tough and um, at the end of the day, just be reliable and the guy that you need me to be. So. That's all that needs to be said. Right. That's, that's it right, right. there. Hey, and, 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 and you'll sign it. Yes. Yes. You draft it. You'll sign it for him. Yeah. That's right. I don't think Aiden Hutchinson was signing autographs at six. I don't think he was. This hey. man was. And this is a playmaker, and we love you, man. Next time you come to this table, you're going to do it as an NFL player. How cool so is that? Yeah, thank you. I awesome. It. New York City loves Wandale Robinson. So does Good Morning Football. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, go get it. Go get it. Prospects you just meet and you, you know. like them. You know, you know what's yeah. going to happen. We you like this guy. All the best. Good luck and enjoy it. I appreciate it. We'll be back on Good Morning Football coming up.